First time visitors, do we have any first time visitors with us today? First time visitors. We need to get you a card if you, he's coming with a card. Any more? First time visitors? Got a couple right there to us. up here at you now. Take those cards, fill them out, put them back in the offering plate, and you see this young lady right here? You got her? You see her? After service, she's got a special gift for you. You know, uh, I see that sometimes this week, I believe it was, uh, as you get older, you kind of get days, and you get kind of all kind of done, but I got a text message, and it said, just rescued a baby turtle and was thinking about you. There you go. <laughs> what can I say? Is that what y'all, whoever texted me, I don't, I don't remember numbers, but is that uh, not a face? Look at that That's face. Gracious. That's a face of love right there. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Let me talk to you this morning about rescue. Back a couple of weeks ago, I talked to you about what we have as a hope fund. And I know from past experience in my life what it means to be kind down on your love. And, and I know what you feel like when someone steps up and, and hits you in that time of need. You feel rescued. That's what the hope fund is all about. You know, we've been studying this this past week or so about what it means to be a church member. Let me read you something out of the Bible about what the members of the very first church done because of what God led them uh, as God saved them and as Christ came into their life. They felt that they should do this. Let me read this to you. It's out of Acts. It says all the believers were one in heart and mind. No one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they shared everything that they had. Now that scares some people when you, when you read that and, and you read the words everything. Some people think, well, uh, what are they trying to get me to do? Give up everything I got? If you read that scripture and, and, and study it, that's not what he said. He said they shared what they had. That means that, all uh, right, say that I'm a farmer and I have a good crop, that I share part of that with people in need. It goes on to say a little later that people even had land, they had houses that they had, and they sold them things to provide for the people. Now it's coming a time our funds is low in the whole fund. And we're going to have to, if we want to serve the body, which is everyone, if we want to make sure that we supply need, then we're going to have to replenish that. We're going to come up with some ideas, hopefully, to do that. But my challenge is to you that if you have something that you're not using, or if you have a little extra money in your pocket, come say months in. Why not? Why not? Put that in the plate and earmark it, hope fund. Because we have in this past year, the body here have rescued many people. That's what they done and their ranks grew. That's what God, they felt God compelled them to do and they did. We have done it over several years now and done very good things. I'm asking you to seek what God would have you to do 
and heal so that the rescues can continue. You know, John F.K., I believe it was John F.K., said many years ago, he said, the question is not what my country could do to you, but what I could do for my country. The question is not what my church can do for me, but what I can do for my church. The church is not this building. It is the people in God. It's everyone that claims to be a child of God. Let's stand and pray.